Molecular hydrogen. The science is becoming super compelling and I'm fascinated about how we can consume it, taking baths in it. In fact, I was so excited to learn more about molecular hydrogen that I went with my friend, Tyler LeBaron, to Tokyo to interview Dr. Ota. You may have seen that interview, we posted it a while back, but what I'm gonna share with you today is part of what uh, Tyler and I did while we were in Tokyo, the things he showed me, the way that molecular hydrogen has been incorporated into the Japanese lifestyle, into the beauty rituals, into the health rituals, and all of the ways that we can benefit from molecular hydrogen. Hey Tyler, I am so excited to be here with you. We're in Tokyo, and I'm here because five years ago, you started to really research molecular hydrogen. And I, of course, always want to know about where are the most incredible beauty trends. And so many of them come from Japan. They come from different parts of Asia. And so can you tell us a little bit about why the Japanese women consume hydrogen in their baths? They drink it. I'm going to be getting a facial at a hydrogen spa. I can't wait. Yeah, you know, the research is really growing in terms of what hydrogen gas can do. And it's amazing to be back here, you know, five years ago researching at Nagoya University and understanding some of the more of the molecular mechanisms of how hydrogen gas works. And even at the gym I went to when I was doing exercise, they had a hydrogen water dispenser there. So it was very common. You go to the convenience stores, you can grab your hydrogen water there. And, and now it's growing to this beauty in this cosmetic area because hydrogen gas, it, it's so small. It's like these streets. You see how narrow they are, right? And I guess in some ways that helps to illustrate hydrogen gas is the smallest molecule, smaller than oxygen. And so it being such a tiny little molecule, what I've been hearing and what I learn is that our bodies are literally every single cell able to utilize it because it can pass the lipid bilayer. That's right, because the things that dictate bioavailability is number one, the size. And because hydrogen gas is the smallest molecule, it's able to easily penetrate that lipid bilayer, the cell membrane, the skin, very easily. And also because it's neutral, it's nonpolar. So even water, you know, water is small and it's neutral, but it's polar, but it can't really penetrate through the skin. Mm -hmm. But hydrogen gas can. You can measure hydrogen gas in the blood by, by taking a hydrogen bath, for example. So why is it really that the women here in Japan know so much about hydrogen as a beauty treatment? Is it because the research began here? I think that's one of the reasons, probably around 2005 when the research really started coming. And, but people are seeing results, and results speak for themselves. And is this growing trend of, with, with Asia and, and how they're into all these types of you know, bathing and cosmetics and things, hygiene catches on quickly. And I think that's why many of these Japanese women and, and, and other countries, it's very big in Korea as well, mm. um, they use the hydrogen because they can start seeing these effects. So not only for, you know, whether it be exercise or, you know, diseases, but, but just for health and wellness and, and beauty in general. I find that, I mean, we all know that Korea and different parts of Asia, so many of the incredible trends around beauty and wellness come together. And I've found, especially here in Japan and Okinawa, that this understanding of this outside meeting inside is such a part of the culture. And it seems like, um, once again, the Japanese will lead the way for beauty from both inside and out because you're drinking the hydrogen and then you're bathing in the hydrogen as well and you're getting that inside out benefit. Absolutely, it's a great combination. and We need a lot more research to really understand how and why and to what extent molecular hydrogen works. But these results we're seeing both in the studies, the animals, the clinical studies, and just people's reports, the daily lives of people is really increasing the, the honest of molecular hydrogen. Well, I'm excited to go get a hydrogen, molecular hydrogen facial. And um, I love taking molecular hydrogen baths. They're very new to me, but I've been doing them for about the past month. And I can't wait for you to try as well.
So Tyler, we're sitting here in this incredible hydrogen spa and I'm learning about hydrogen facials and hydrogen foam and all of the ways that hydrogen both inside and outside can really enhance our wellness and our beauty. But we're also learning more about what's going on at the universities here in Tokyo. Yes, hydrogen is growing in terms of the benefits for the beauty and a lot of women using that for the cosmetic because it increases blood circulation and blood flow and so we see these things but that also illustrates why it would be good for medicine as she talked about some of these universities are doing a lot of the research in fact uh, she mentioned Keio University which uh, received the government approval for, for hydrogen as an advanced medicine for the treatment of post cardiac arrest syndrome and so hydrogen is increasing the mainstream medicine as well so we have hydrogen, hydrogen medicine as well as hydrogen beauty then they're both you know, working synergistically together, if you will, because the things that benefit it, the body in terms of medicine also benefit the body in terms of beauty, such as the inflammation, the antioxidant-like effects to combat the oxidative damage and oxidative distress. Uh, all of these things are all linked together because the body is a very complex system. And hydrogen, although it's very small, very simple, it works on the you know pleiotropic effects. <laughs> As you can see, I've got foam all over my back, and this is very special foam. This is hydrogen, this is molecular hydrogen foam. And I'm here in Tokyo getting this done at a hydrogen spa. And women here in Japan typically get the foam put all over their body, and then they let it sit for about 10 minutes, and that improves the collagen production, it improves the oxygen, that comes to the surface of the skin, it literally improves the health and well-being of the skin to increase the glow and also help to remove a lot of the sunspots that develop over time. How does it feel? It feels really interesting. It's sort of like this tingly feeling, um, this warmth that I can't quite explain, but um, I definitely like it and want to do it a little bit more. <laughs> It feels like the most comforting foam bubble bath you could ever imagine, but it's also got this little bit of this tingly feeling. So I can sense that it's actually penetrating through the skin. And as we've learned from the professors and the researchers, the fact that molecular hydrogen goes into the cell membrane of every single cell in our body, it's doing something that no other foam could ever do. And when you think about how it really penetrates through every single cell membrane in our skin, in our body, and Dr. Otto told me that today, and how it affects the mitochondria in each and every cell, I was so fascinated. But then I had no idea that this science of the foam, hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, would be so effective and so powerful at activating the cell membrane to really um, absorb and utilize the molecular hydrogen to create more energy in the cell, to reduce inflammation, to enhance an overall sense of glow and beauty. Molecular hydrogen is really the perfect example of beauty from within and beauty from without. Oh, and she just pushes it in. Wow, hmm. that's cool. Oh my god, I love this. I hate wiping it off. I'm just pushing it into my skin so that I get all of the benefits of the hydrogen. Hydrogen beauty foam. The skin benefits of Hydrogen Beauty Foam are 
improved circulation, increased production of collagen, the synthesis of collagen in the skin. It also improves moisture and hydration. And because the molecular hydrogen is able to pass by the lipid bilayer, you're going right into the cell and energizing the cell so that it can be more healthy. And of course, it improves um, inflammation, reduces inflammation in the skin. We're gonna put a hydrogen mask on now. And um, this is used here in Japan all the time to really increase the circulation, the collagen production, the glow, and also to lift off a lot of the impact from the sun, so some of the sunspots and the discoloration. I feel completely refreshed. I had no idea that the foam of molecular hydrogen would be that powerful, but of course it makes sense because it's deeply penetrating through every single cell in my skin. And I feel like a little bit of a tingling sensation. I absolutely can't wait to do it again. And I really wanna thank you for introducing me to Hydrogen facials and hydrogen foam. Thank you so much. Arigato. Uh, I always say it wrong. How do I say it? Arigato. 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 Thank you for sharing your incredible beauty ritual, your Japanese beauty ritual with us um, in the US. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was an absolutely wild sensation to have the molecular hydrogen put all over my skin. And I felt this refreshed like um, glow that lasted for days just by putting it on my body. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got inspired. Dr. Mercola loves it. In fact, he was the one that first introduced me to Tyler LeBaron and um, I'm just excited for the whole world to embrace molecular hydrogen. So I find molecular hydrogen to be really truly fascinating which is again why I went to Japan to really discover why is it that the Japanese have been using it in their beauty routines and their health routines for so long. I was absolutely intrigued by the way that they incorporate it into their lives. You're gonna see a bunch more videos on molecular hydrogen, and as the science continues to build, I think we're all gonna benefit.